What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Eternal Evolution, and today, well, you can see the timer is ticking down very slowly for the Chapter 16, aka EX, the Edge of Cataclysm comes out. Uh, we're gonna go for first place, and of course, if you guys want to perform first place and you have teams that can do that, uh, because of how many people are pretty much cleared up to that point, <laughs> you can see on our servers, uh, there's about 30 people that have the potential to now do a speed run at this part right here, and it all comes down to timing. Doesn't matter how fast you kill the bosses, it's whoever kills the bosses first. That's what we're gonna try to do. So here goes our speed run in seven minutes and 30 seconds. Now, one little tip you can do while you're waiting for this timer to go down to is your team setup. You can already launch and have your team ready to go before using a reset. So that means you have two tries with all of your heroes. The other thing people sometimes don't realize you don't have to fill in all these empty squares until you need them. I usually put all my assassins and all my hunters in because those are the two teams that I typically use for most of these battles. Uh, if we have to throw a tank team in or something like that, we will do that afterwards if we need a vanguard team. Whatever the filler, we have one, two, well, actually, yeah, we have eight spots left. So that's more than a full team that we have, but we have our main two support heroes, Miranda for our hunter team. We have uh, all of our hunters in that we want. We have our uh, assassins in plus one. So we have a lot of teams ready to go because you got to be quick even setting up your teams picking your teams and launching them need to be quick and you need to try to get everything done and cleared on your first attempt if you want first so get your team prepared before the countdown's done that way you're ready to jump into some battles now we don't know exactly what bosses we are going to face here fingers crossed there's no tank bosses because tank bosses are one that my account is really weak with everything else can kind of be cleared with assassins so fingers crossed let's go okay we're down to 10 seconds we got to get ready to jump in literally the same time there's sometimes we get first place or second place all depending on like a one second difference so it is starting let's go let's jump into these battles we're gonna go in we're gonna challenge these as fast as possible um there's my assassin team uh why does it say not all heroes are here <laughs> oh no i had a previous different setup here okay we need to chuck a hero in real quick and challenge and go and we go full auto on this too we just it shouldn't be any problem for us to beat most of these waves especially with the assassins they just do so much damage we just need to blitz through this as fast as possible i wish i would have known my setup was a little off i bet it still has rickard in there from last time uh, but yeah, let's keep going. So we're gonna go up against the summon wave again the same team We basically use our assassin team for almost everything. The only thing we sometimes have to uh, like change our team around to is like The tank wave sometimes but this team can do the generals it can do the summoner it can do the assassin it can do the Vanguard and it can even do the hunter with all the shields like this team can literally clear everything with the Caraxia. Uh, luckily though, we're actually getting a lot of these. The summon one is a little difficult for this one to do just because of the sheer number of creatures that are summoned out. But as you guys can see, uh, sometimes you have to take control manually, but most of the time they just don't have time to even get their ultimates off the whales in the back. Uh, so this ends up being a really quick fight. Let's see what the first boss is. It is going to be Vagabond. Yeah, no, I mean, mm. Let's see if our team can do this. I don't know how much damage they're gonna do. Let's see real quick. Um, it should be fine, so I don't have to add vanguards to our team and everything. We'll we'll just we'll monitor this very closely because so long as we can clear it, that's fine. I don't care. Um, <laughs> oh, we probably should have put Purin in on this one, but I think the damage is gonna be just fine. We got plenty of time on it. This is going to be a little slower than I think if Vanguard's fought it, although maybe not by much. Uh, the slower energy generation is the problem, which is kind of why I'm like, I wish we had Purin for this one right here. It would be so, so good if we did, uh, but we don't. <laughs> it does look like Caraxia and Matoko with her AoE is going to be pretty, pretty powerful here. We also have Dominic here going in with his ultimate, which is going to chunk for... Only a couple of percentage points. Really, our big damage is Caraxia, so. Uh, it's faster to just let this go at this point, even though we are using an Assassin Squad. It is definitely not optimal. Uh, but yeah, you can see Caraxia is the one doing the most damage by far, I think, yeah. 
or actually it's not me. Dom's doing the worst here just because there's nobody nobody's really able to coordinate on this one for Dom to really get it. If anything, dropping Dom out for Purin probably would have been a faster kill here, but a uh, minute 20 for 30% should be long enough. The worst case scenario that would happen for us is we get down to almost killing him and then run out of time and lose our team. But I think they're fast enough here. Looks like they're fast enough. One more crack, so you ultimate, and we'll be pretty good. Whew. It is kind of cutting it close on the time, though, overall. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. <laughs> there we go so we did get the kill even though it was the vanguard wave still did it with our assassins let's continue on we're just going to go against the generalist bond because the generalist bond is the easiest one here because we just don't take damage simple as that it's just super easy there are some tanky heroes in this one but for assassins they really don't care <laughs> they really just don't care because they just do so much damage plus uh the execute ability from karaxi is just it's so so strong so there's that kill there let's go to the next one we're gonna go to the summon bond again because that is shouldn't be too difficult for our assassins once again they basically go right for the summon heroes that do the aoe damage anyway but we have like immunity from uh fiona anyway so it, it kind of becomes a negligible amount of damage that the bosses do uh and it usually just means nothing <laughs> like they usually just can't do anything we have so much damage reduction on these heroes we have revives we've got everything it's just really simple if we lose a hero we do have a substitute here and there even the hunter bond one right here going in with the assassins should be just fine because even if they do get the big aoe hits off and everything uh number one we have immunities we have resurrections we have a lot of damage reduction so we should be able to survive even if the shields last and they do their aoe but Honestly, I think Caraxia's ultimate alone, like, is gonna, yeah, she basically gets rid of all of the shields on both of them. So, very, very simple for our assassin squad to do. And this is why I'm like, assassins do everything, guys. Assassins literally do everything in this game. <laughs> if you don't have assassins, what are you doing? Ah, uh, bah, bah, we'll go for the summon one again. They can technically do any one of these. I feel like the summon one will probably be the fastest out of all of them. Oh, <laughs> that Dominic ultimate into Caraxia hit. I think it was Caraxia. Maybe it wasn't. But all I know is it went boom and everybody basically died right there. One more target. Come on. Let's go. The timer's going. We're five and a half minutes in here. Let's see if we can continue to push. Uh, another assassin bond makes it super easy we don't have to change our team mix anything up we have our hunters ready to go we have some energy heroes ready to go the only thing we don't have saved are tanks right now but we can add tanks in very quickly if we need to for any specific boss if if the tank boss does pop up though we're probably not going to clear this on day one that just happens every time for us so uh nope energy bond is the end here let's get going let's see if they can do it i don't know if they can doesn't look like this is going to be one we want to do so here's what we're going to do we're going to go to our energy squad now deploy it we need support heroes so let's do this uh, we're going to throw purin in oh actually you know what we do want mm, well man i'm wasting time here i'm wasting time this is not good uh, I guess we can just throw Miranda in just for the sake of time right now and let this squad go and hopefully they can kill this fast enough. Uh, Jaina should do really good on this one, I think. She's just going to be able to chain cast abilities, which is going to be absolutely amazing here. And I think we're going to be in a good spot. I just don't know. This is the first time we've ever had a boss like this. I want to go auto on this to really maximize who we're hitting, but if I go auto, it's definitely going to slow the combat down by quite a bit. This is going to be a hard boss. My goodness. Too bad I don't have the new prototype. We're about to start losing. The boss is about to start losing percentage. So it looks like every minion is only 1% HP here. Oof. This is going to be a little... This is gonna be a little sketchy here. Luckily, we have a revive though, so we're gonna be able to jump back into this multiple times. I think we do have to run this on manual, honestly. This is just it's just becoming a little too suboptimal the way that they're attacking and everything. So we're gonna have to waste a little time and let them kind of get our hits in a little bit better. I need to just control where they're hitting a little bit better so that they're getting more damage in here. 
we need to try to get everybody into the same spot so i need to manually move our nord over a bit so we're hitting the same targets over and over honestly a res might not be the worst thing in the world either right here i want to bring the nord back we're gonna just keep slashing I mean, we need to get these two over here just get them knocked out just get them killed i know it's not optimal but i'd rather just oh my god i completely missed i just want to get that one target down right there so everybody is clumped up this does look like we might have to do a revive on this though and that's not the worst case but we do need to get to 50 percent otherwise we do need to throw other heroes in first unless some of these count for more than one percent which they might This is probably one of the longest runs I've ever done just because of this wave. <laughs> this wave takes forever. And it's a wave we can't use our assassins on. If we could use our assassins, it would make this so much easier. But this is definitely not a wave assassins are made for. Again, we just need to try to get as many enemies in our cone as possible here. with every one of these Jaina hits so that she just goes off and yeah because we don't have the prototype we might fall behind others but like I said we barely spend on prototypes or anything like that in this game so it's to be expected if we fall behind here and don't quite get the clear as fast as others it does look like we will do at least 50 percent. so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna just have to reset this immediately and go at this again with the same team if we want a chance to get first place I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to beat this in one attempt uh, so we're gonna have to go back in reset the squad probably get another damage dealer of some sort in here but we don't really have any other energy heroes because we didn't build the new one only thing we could do is build a different support hero into this maybe a uh yona or something so close but honestly if we just chuck the same team in oh no <gasps> no it crashed Ah. so yeah i'm thinking there goes our first place honestly because uh <laughs> the crash literally took our team out of the fight um yeah that that feels that just feels so so bad here so uh yeah we, we basically did zero damage against the boss here on that first attempt so i'm a little disheartened uh maybe we can make this win still though on auto uh, the only thing I'm going to control is where our Nord goes so that we can make sure the grouping stays pretty good. But, um, yeah, we're going to give some more energy to Jaina with the res because honestly, Miranda, I don't think was doing too much. We're just going to control the Nord, have him try to jump far to the left side. I think actually that way Jaina's hits should hit the most targets. We want him to go way over on the left side here. That way, all these other bugs hopefully come with. That or we could come further over to the right with them. It is a possibility too. Let's try if we go far over to the left. Uh, they must be ranged enemies then, it looks like. So maybe we can drag them over back to the right now and we'll just go back and forth. Oh man, maybe if we can clear this in one try this time, maybe this will work out. It just feels so, so bad that we crash right at the end and we completely lost our opportunity, I think, to get first place. I can't believe we crashed. That just feels so, so bad. But yeah, the mobs are starting to run around to the side. Let's see if we can bring him way over. Ah, uh, Corellius is going to be the issue here now. So, yeah, we can't do that. Sadly, it's just too hard to group everybody up. I think we just let those ones on the side go for the time being. We try to take the pressure off Corellio so he's not the one being attacked, and we put Nord back in front of him. And these guys maybe eventually will die to some AoE. We'll see. Let's get him back over here. Try to get Nord right in front of all those enemies. <laughs> That's our only hope, really. Uh, Jaina just doesn't seem to be doing good on auto either. So this is just so disheartening to lose because the game froze. Literally, it was like 14 seconds left in the attempt, which just feels so bad. Like you're basically done with the attempt. Like you couldn't just last 14 seconds, not crash. Let me get credit for the like down to 10% they were at. Ah, felt so bad. Yeah, sadly, there's no way to move like other heroes around. So we can't like pull him back into the mix. A lot of this does have to do with the 
sadly not so optimized setups that we're hitting. We want to just make sure Nord is hitting these two every single time. In the meantime, eventually everybody else will go down. Jaina's just going to continue to hit these very, very easily. Do this. There we go. So now everything's kind of on that side, which is really good. Corellios is taking some hits, though. Hopefully he doesn't go down. If Corellius goes down, it's going to feel really bad. Maybe we can take him out really quick with Nord. I think that's going to be the only thing we can do right here. Yeah, he'll go down. He'll go down here in a second. So that's good. All right. Now everybody's grouped up for Jaina, essentially. So please, Jaina. Oh, Jaina's dead. Somehow Jaina's dead in the back. Oh, this is just going to heckin' back again. We're just like, <laughs> nothing's working out for us here today. Maybe running the Miranda was the better just because it gave us more survivability and support. Uh, we could try running like Fiona instead, though. That's an option that we could do next time. We got below 50%. We're just going to let this one work and, and just go. If it crashes again, I'm just going to rage quit, I think. Because <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Just get a couple more kills before the end. Come on, just kill off those low HP targets here. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. Die, 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 die. No, so we don't get the credit for those percentages. We'll take the defeat. Uh, team, let's go. Let's reset team. Let's get in our same heroes once again. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go in here. Let's go with our energy setup again. Right here. Take you out and throw in Flora. Let's do that. All right, let's keep going. And then, yeah, we'll just control the Nord. Place his positioning just a little bit better this time. Try to drag everything over a little bit further to the left side while he keeps aggro on everything. This might be a little bit better. And we'll just let Nord kind of be the one that takes it out of those targets on like the more of the right side over here. Well, that Jaina just goes to town on that main streak right there. Granted, everybody else might have issues with this too. So uh, there's fingers crossed that we can get this taken out though. If for some reason our energy heroes don't clear this out, I'm sure we can have other heroes like assassins or something clear this out. It'll be a little suboptimal, but at least they do have some AoE and it should work out. I'm going to need to bring Nord back just a little bit for spacing at this point. I'm going to back over to this side. Again, we're still kind of working on some of these targets on the right over here, too. Oh, wait. I don't have Purin in the lineup. That's my mistake. Oh, no. I put the wrong hero in. Oh, no. I wonder if we can still do this. I was wondering why. I was like, man, it feels like we're not getting many energy attacks off. So beyond that, I forgot that our team is not optimally set up in the save function. Um, Gosh. It almost feels bad for me to restart it now. I'm just hoping we have the damage to clear this out with a minute 30 left. I think we do, but it could be close. I think we're okay. Have Nord come back this way. Hopefully he can kill off one or two of these by the end, maybe. Again, we just want to keep most of the enemies right in the center here grouped up, though. All right, move over here. They might go on Miranda. Nope, they did stick. Well, the new one went on Miranda, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. We got 15% left. Yeah, I think we'll clear it out even with forgetting to put Purin in this. The Miranda's the mistake, honestly. Miranda in this lineup just isn't really helping us much. We can see the damage here. Jaina is just popping off, going absolutely crazy. And there we go. Okay, so let's see. Did we finish in first? I have no clue. <sighs> There's our chest that we got, and let's see if that's enough for first place, though. Go back. Check the ranking. I think we got first. I don't know. He finished at 14. They, they all finished this. We all finished it like, oh, man. <laughs> I finished this one so much faster. We just got to wait for it to update. Oh, we need it to update. Come on, man. <laughs> it hasn't even credited us for the kill just yet. Come on, man. Let's go out. Let's go back in. Check the rankings again. Come on, man. Just update. Show us in first. 
the red dot showed up it showed up let's see what ours are ranking oh wait no wait a speed run leaderboard oh my gosh it looks like we might have took second place all because of a stupid crash no come on man oh. if it didn't crash if it just didn't crash we could have won man that sucks